Hi guys, I'm Sarah Nicole Smith, Bobbi Brown National Makeup Artist, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your lips look plumper and fuller while still looking totally natural. Step one is gonna be exfoliating. We're gonna make a super easy DIY lip scrub using your favorite at-home lip balm and a little bit of sugar. Just sprinkle it in and mix it up. Exfoliating is key when you're trying to create that perfect full pout. It's gonna get the blood circulating to bring the fullest out of your lips, and it's gonna smooth away any dead skin cells for a soft, supple finish. Then you're going to apply and gently rub your lips together. The excess you can remove with a towel and a little bit of warm water. Step two, you want to nourish and moisturize the lips post scrub. Extra lip tint is the perfect product to bring your pout to its fullest potential. I'm gonna show you two of my favorite full pouty lip looks. The first one we're gonna do is a everyday, very natural stay at home look. For the second one, we're gonna go a little more bold. Starting with my stay at home pout, I'm gonna go in with the Pale Mauve Lip Liner. I'm gonna trace just slightly outside my natural lip line, so where the lip and skin meet. This is why it's so important you have a lip liner that matches your natural lip color, so that it doesn't look obvious and creates the illusion of a fuller looking pout. When you do the top lip, you wanna start at the outer corner and go in towards the cupid's bow. Try to use light feathery strokes to keep it really soft and natural. Because the extra lip tint leaves a soft, rosy hue to the lips, I'm gonna use it as my everyday lip color. Just to softly blend that little bit of outside edge into the lips so it all looks like one. The final step to finish off your pout is to add a little bit of high shine gloss. The Crushed Oil Infused Lip Gloss is a perfect formula for this look because it's super smooth and creamy and adds a perfect amount of shine. I'm gonna go in with Free Spirit for my pout. Just a little bit in the center of the lips. You wanna apply it in the fullest area of your lips to really bring your pout to its fullest potential. And that's it, super easy, super wearable. Now let's go a little more bold. For this look, I chose Chocolate Lip Liner. Now this shade is quite a bit deeper than my natural lip color. So you wanna make sure when you pair it with a lipstick, you're choosing one that matches the lip liner but is about one shade lighter. We're simply gonna follow the same steps as before. Lip liner is amazing for balancing the shape of your lips. As we get older, our lips tend to thin out. Utilize your lip liner to reshape and bring out that pout. Matte formulas tend to work best for this when you have that deeper liner to really give you that coverage to make it blend and look like your lips. I chose Tawny Pink for the perfect pair with chocolate. Lightly press it into the lip. Now it's time to finish off with a little bit of gloss. When going with a deeper, poutier look, you want to make sure to choose a gloss that's a couple of shades lighter than the lip shade that you chose. I'm going to go in with Sweet Talk, just like before and just add a little bit right in the center. To complete my full, pouty, but still totally natural looking lip. I hope y'all enjoyed my tips and tricks on how to get fuller looking lips that still look natural. I promise you it's much easier than it seems. Just remember all the essentials, exfoliate, hydrate, choose a lip liner and coordinating lipstick in your natural lip tone and pop it off with a little bit of gloss.